About 18 hours by Chris J. Kapler as part of a Bethesda event, I played most of the company's releases over the next few months. I even played Skyrim on Switch, all of which you'll be able to read about over the next couple of weeks. Despite enjoying them all, I have to say one in particular stole my heart would and he let it go, and scrunched it up until blood and chunks of heart gushed between clawed fingers. This game was Doom VFR, the virtual reality version of 2016's Doom, and I think it could be the game I've been waiting for my entire life. Would I like to physically enter the world of Doom? Hell yes I would rip and tear rip and tear our review of Doom 2016 we loved it. Doom VFR is Bethesda's latest trip into to the VR space after a little mishap with the HTC Vive controllers I was ready to plunge into to the world of Doom. First, controls. There's shoot, throw grenade which you have to manually do by miming, change weapons, dodge in four directions, and teleport. Teleport is the main way of getting around, as well as doing something else that's awesome that I'll talk about shortly. The most important part to realize about Doom VFR is that demons come from everywhere, meaning literally all around you. This is not an on Rayleigh's shooting gallery, it's a proper Doom game and you have to treat it as such, moving constantly and being aware of attacks from all angles. It's very difficult in that regard but it's also incredible amounts of fun, and totally feels like Doom. The other important thing you need to know, Doom fans, is this is an original Doom game. It's not a port. You'll revisit some areas from Doom 2016 but overall it's an original game with an original story, you don't even play the iconic Doom Slayer Marine. If you're the level of fan like myself that needs to play every single Doom game, including the likes of Doom 64, Doom RPG 1-2, and Doom Resurrection, then I'm afraid you'll need to have a VR kit in your Christmas stocking this year. You'll say this once though Doom VFR is worth it. Set after the initial invasion by hell that just keeps happening, doesn't it? You play the last human survivor, except you're not a survivor anymore. Your consciousness is transferred to a cybernetic robot suit and sent off to fight demons invading the UAC facility. Because the UAC are nice like that. After a quick zip around the lab where I woke up, I headed up to the equipment area where I could get weapons and that lovely cybernetic combat suit, modeled on the iconic Doom Slayer armor. Then all hell broke loose, literally. Glancing backwards over my shoulder, something I absolutely really did in real life, I saw fireballs and explosives shooting back and forth in the corridor. What the um heck was going on down there after teleporting to the doorway to get a closer look, it was here I discovered the two things that make Doom VFR a real, proper Doom game. The first is demon infighting, which has been a thing since Doom 1993, and that was exactly what was going on in the corridor, the demons, specifically imps and possessed soldiers, were fighting each other. Awesome. The second thing concerns that cool teleport function I mentioned earlier. You know how in Doom 2016 you can glory kill an enemy after you weaken them, which nets you ammo. Health and an awesome gory screenshot the Doom VFR version is the Telefrag, which you can perform once you've weakened an enemy so they glow blue. Then just teleport into them and they'll explode in a shower of blood and gibbs. Again awesome. I fought down a horde of imps and possess using only the basic weapons available including shotgun and plasma rifle, looking back and forth as they swarmed me from all sides, dodged fireballs and telefragged as many as I could in order to get kudos among my peers well, the nice PR lady watching me. Then several of the fat fire shooting mancubi started closing in and I thought my time was up then I was transported to hell. Properly this time, and towering over me was the epic image of the Icon of Sin from Doom 2. Sadly I didn't have a rocket launcher, or why would they shot at it? I did, however, have a chain gun. Doom chain gun is fun enough in straight boring first person, but we are actually using it to charge up and mow down cacodemons, imps and hell knights that's the funnest thing ever. There was even a bit of platforming while I did so, and I was startled by a baron of hell leaping at me. Fortunately a bit of plasma rifle to the face did him in while jumping. Eventually after being swarmed from all sides I made it through, killing everything in my path while exploring the bowels of hell, and was promptly eviscerated by a pinky demon. As endings go, that works for me. Doom Virtual Thing Reality will be out December 1st.